Hi, I'm Chris Gillis, the LCMS Product Manager for Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the ESI capillary in a Shimazu triple quad. You will need an 8mm wrench and a replacement ESI pipe assembly. First, open the ESI probe cover and remove the peak tubing from the source inlet. Once the tubing has been removed, you will need to loosen and remove the black locking nut. Next, remove the ESI coupling and capillary assembly by turning it counterclockwise and lifting it straight up from the source. Once the entire assembly has been removed, you need to disconnect the ESI coupling from the capillary assembly. You can use your fingers for this, or if the coupling is too tight, you can use the 8mm wrench as demonstrated in the instruction manual. Now the new capillary assembly can be mounted into the ESI coupling. This must be done on the side of the ESI coupling with the black O-ring. Use the side of the coupling to help ensure that the tip of the ESI capillary is not recessed too far into the assembly or projecting too far out. Now you can screw the capillary assembly into the coupling and finger tighten. The entire capillary assembly can now be carefully mounted back into the ESI probe. Be sure not to force the capillary down into the probe as that may cause damage. As you tighten the ESI coupling, you are causing the capillary to extend from the tip of the probe. You can monitor the capillary protrusion visually. It is a general recommendation to have a probe protrusion between 0.5 and 1 mm to start. Once you set the probe protrusion as desired, you can secure the assembly in place with a locking nut. Then, reinstall the peak tubing in the source inlet. Now you are ready to run with a new capillary installed. For more information about Shimazu LCMS instruments, visit us at www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in science, Shimazu.